Hey guys, so I'm back with another extended take. It's probably going to be a real quick one because my daughter and my husband are out on another quick little errand. So I decided to do a quick little video just to kind of keep content going. So, um, and I don't even really have nothing to talk about. That's the thing. <laughs> usually this is one of them last minute things. Because usually I have a whole concept or idea in my head of what I want to talk about. But, um... So the 6 9 thing keep going on from what I'm seeing on IG on my feed. I think him and Snoop going at it now. So it's just like, it's, it's, it's escalating real quick. It's just, I know on my last video, I'm still like, sit your ass down. Like you just, you're doing too much, bro. You're doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Like now you starting beefs with other, like just learn absolutely nothing. Like, I don't know if this is his whole hype to come back or like, if he feels this is what he needs to do to come back like if you're talented and i know he's got a whole lot of controversy around him a whole lot of you know he's very polarizing very polarizing figure right now everybody's on his head right now and um but my thing is if you have true talent which again i said in my last one i, I don't know exactly how i feel about the talent part <laughs> But he definitely does have that it thing that je ne sais quoi, that, that thing that, you know, draws attention to him. You know what I'm saying? So if, you know, he just needs to move in a different direction. I mean, not so radical that we don't recognize who he is, but, you know, like we, you know, some of us, we kind of hoping just on the strength as another human being that, you know, we, you, you'll have a nice comeback story, you know, Hey, I learned my lesson. I was perpetrating a lifestyle I wasn't really living, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> we just gonna have to pray for that boy because I don't see, I don't see none of this ending well at all for him, at all for him. So anyway, that's really all I got. I just seen this whole thing with him and Snoop beefing. So, um, what else going on? What I see on my IG, not so much TV. Let's talk about my IG. What I don't see in my IG. Oh, Tristan Thompson's supposed to be having another baby on Chloe. I guess I don't know. I don't really follow the Kardashians. I think I told y'all that. Like, if it's something like, if I'm really bored, it ain't really nothing on, and I'm just kind of doing my little thing around the house. I kind of play it in the background, and it may kind of catch my attention for five or ten minutes or so. I just I don't see anything interesting <laughs> you know what i'm saying i mean i think the only thing that i find like really i'm not gonna say that blows my mind but that really kind of it's just the lifestyle it's just the extravagance it's like my god like how rich are they you know what i'm saying like if, if only i could be that rich but you know what I'm saying? but you know i wouldn't even want to be that rich in all honesty i really because they have no with the exception of maybe kim with this whole prison reform thing that she's doing but, like, you have no earthly idea what the real world is like is at this point. You know what I'm saying? And then with the whole paparazzi and you can't make any moves without anybody following you. You know what I'm saying? People digging through your trash and, you know, you don't know which one of your friends is selling you out to the to the tabloid. Like, I don't, I wouldn't want that life. God bless them. They, I guess they built for it, honey. <laughs> they built for it. So, but anyway, so they supposed to be having this girl coming out saying she having his baby. Like, are we surprised though? Like, really? And then on the last episode, she talking about Chloe talking about she trying to have another baby with him. Like they ain't together. She's freezing her eggs. She wants embryos, but she wants the uh her, you know, true to have the same father as this other baby that she's trying to have right now. And I <sighs> You just need to just go, get back with him. Like you know you want to. You know you want to. Like just I mean, I, I think at this point it's just your pride that's keeping you from doing it because you don't be made a fool of twice. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to seem like that dumb girl that, he's cool, that keeps going back. But I mean, but you keep entertaining him. You accepting his gifts. Like every other week on IG, this man will send you flower arrangements, balloon arrangements, jewelry, collections, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Next is going to be cars and shit. Like, and you accepted him. So it's like, the girl, quit playing. You know you want that man back. Quit playing. <laughs> quit playing. Now, what I will say, the only time I do really, like, really get into the show is, like, if a scandal happened. Like, I remember I was really into it when the whole Kim robbery thing happened. And then, of course, the whole Tristan thing happened the first time. And then, of course, the Tristan thing happened the second time because it was Jordan this time. And it was just like, oh, shit, how they gonna handle this? You know what I'm saying? But, and then the whole unseasoned fight they had with chloe and i mean not chloe with kim and courtney and all that so i did watch those episodes because they was all juicy and stuff but just terms of just watching it every week i don't even follow it but girl like the girl i 
honestly believe if she wasn't in the spotlight, if if if, if all the eyes went on her, she would have been back with him by now. And who knows? And I think they're quarantining together. So, hell, they probably back together any damn way. They just ain't told nobody yet. They don't want nobody to know yet. But I honestly think if, uh, it's her pride at this point that's just keeping her from, girl, because you... you when you truly done with somebody, whether you share a kid with them or not, you done. Like, you know what I'm saying? If I was ever done with my husband or whatever, and we decide to divorce, and of course we got a co-parent because we have a child. I'm all for that. You know, I make it as easy as possible because my child comes first. But in terms of you trying to win me back and communicate and sending me stuff, like I don't want none of it. Just if it ain't pertaining to this child, to my daughter, we don't have nothing else to talk about. Like seriously, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Once I'm done with you, I am done with you, whether it be in friendships or relationships. Like once I'm I'm done, I'm done. You know what I'm saying? But whatever, it makes for good TV. It's entertaining. <laughs> so... <laughs> Oh, Lord, have mercy. Rich and famous, how they live, honey. They, and it's small. They all just sleeping around with each other. And that whole Kylie and Tyga and, and China and Travis and like that. And Jordan don't got caught up. In, it's just too, it's too much, child. It's too much. But y'all have that. Have fun with it. Have fun with it, honey. <laughs> oh. I've been saying on my IG, nothing really, nothing that really caught my attention too much. Um, those are the only two things I was just like, what? Um, what else I want to talk about? Pet peeves. What pet peeves? I got a whole lot of pet peeves. I'm just an irritable person. Like everything pisses me off. <laughs> I ain't gonna say piss me off. I'm gonna say irritates me. Um, I'm having this pet peeve right now, where. A lot of people, not a lot of people, but you know, you have people who always in your ear and, you know, got something to say. That's why I say a lot of times when you make your moves and when you make decisions in life, unless you just really trust somebody, you know what I'm saying? Try to keep it to yourself as much as possible because you're always going to have somebody in your ear. Not so much, I don't want to say doubting you or putting it down, but just, you know, maybe not seeing the same vision that you're seeing, you know what I'm saying? And and they're projecting their own stuff onto you. I mean, because that's really all we have to go by. Is, is our own experiences so you know we have a tendency to project that on somebody else so you know if you haven't plans like i haven't even told mo any of my friends about this whole youtube thing i mean it's not really doing anything right now i'm, I'm viewers are going up a little bit and i thank y'all for that um but you know it's nowhere near any kind of recognition stage or anything like that which i'm okay with you know what i'm saying if it worked it worked it didn't it didn't i really wasn't expecting nothing from it but you know i haven't even told any of my friends like not one that i was doing this mostly it's just my husband and my daughter that know you know what i'm saying it's because they live with me and they see me doing videos sometimes but and even for a couple of days i didn't even tell my husband or my daughter that i was doing it, it was just something that i decided to do and if it blows up great hope y'all like it you know what i'm saying and if not great i'm still going to continue to live my life you know what i'm saying um, but sometimes when you make moves like that, it's people yearly, you, you, YouTube, what you going to do with YouTube? You know, you know how much it takes to do that or really what you got to say, who going to watch and really everybody doing YouTube now. Now you want to be one, not saying that I heard that cause I didn't tell nobody that, you know what I'm saying? But that was part of the reason. Cause I was like, if I'm going to do this, I don't need no kind of distractions. This is just my own private thing that I'm doing for myself and you know and like I said hopefully y'all enjoy it and stuff like that so just you know be careful about who you who you tell you move to because not every, I'm not gonna say that everybody's for you because I have people who genuinely love me and I know they don't want to see me fail you know what I'm saying but again sometimes they project their own beliefs and their own perspectives on things and they may not necessarily match yours so um you know i pick and choose my advice from people i do I'm not saying that um you know i go to people with advice or um you know ask for advice on a whole lot of things because i'm a capricorn and i'm stubborn and i'm very you know headstrong and it's kind of like once i have my mind made up <laughs> it takes an act of jesus to kind of get me to unmake my mind <laughs> you know once i'm stuck with something i'm stuck with it like that's that's just what i'm gonna do um, but you know, of course there's been times, you know, everybody needs help and everybody needs some advice sometimes. And, you know, I pick and choose. I don't take anybody's advice wholeheartedly. You know what I'm saying? I pick and choose what I can get from it and what's meaningful to me. And I just kind of let the rest go. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's kind of the way you have to be, you know, cause like I said, everybody's not seeing your vision. Not everybody thinks the same. So pick and choose what you can get from it. As long as you know what you're doing in your heart is right and 
you know, I always say, follow your dreams. I'm still in the process of trying to get there with mine. And I, and this YouTube thing is not even a dream of mine. It's just something I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? I have other things that I've been dreaming about since I was little and I just haven't had the confidence to do. But, you know, we getting there. It'll happen one day. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, my soul feels unsettled. And I know that's part of the reason why. Because I think, honestly, I'm not living in my purpose. So, um, but, you know, we'll talk about all that later. That's that's for a whole nother. <laughs> Maybe that'd be my testimony one day <laughs> on YouTube. That'd be my testimony one day. So, anyway, like I said, I just want to hit y'all up with a quick interview. I'm just rambling at this point. I really ain't have nothing to really talk about. <laughs> so, except for what was on my IG timeline. And, and um, just... That little pet peeve of mine, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I can't even be mad at it. Like I said, you just, you got to learn how to turn, to tune the noise out and, and know where it's coming from. So, um, anyway, let me know how y'all doing during this quarantine. We're on day, it feels like 895 of this thing still in the house. You know, we are getting out just a tad bit more than we have in the past, but still, you know, not too much. Not too much. So, um, on one hand, I was just telling my husband, like, I'm very grateful I get to spend this time with my daughter uninterrupted without a whole schedule we have to abide by, you know, and that part has kind of been, you know, really cool. Um, I could definitely tell that we've been bonded a lot more, you know, but on the other hand, it's just like, <sighs> I miss the way life was, <laughs> you know, I miss the normalcy of it all. So, but this is the new normal. So, but y'all let me know how y'all doing, what y'all doing to cope with it. You know, besides making 850 TikToks, which we do. <laughs> My daughter, I can't even tell you how many TikToks. In fact, we just did a TikTok before uh, she left to go uh, run an errand with her dad. So anyway, um, watching movies, we've been doing a lot of that. Um, she's learned how to skate. She's learning how to skate, which I think she gave up on y'all. We got to do a video on her, uh, on her channel, a vlog on her channel about that. Cause I think she just, she feels like she's not getting it. So she just like last three days, I don't want to skate, but you begged me for them skates, whatever. But anyway, we'll save that for her channel. <laughs> So, like I said, any topics I ain't discuss is Saturday ain't really nothing on Saturday. Uh, Future, what, dropped the album. I'm not a huge Future fan. I was in the beginning, but uh, after a while, his all his stuff just kind of sounds the same to me. So, it's, I think he just got stuck in his rut. I don't know. I'm just not a huge, I'm not, I ain't even listening to one thing. The only thing I listen to is what's on the blogs and what they talking about. He mentioned, you know, the little pass around Lori or whatever. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. <laughs> but she is. Like, I really want to know what's so special about that girl. Like, I mean, she's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, she looks like every other IG model out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, honey, you don't been passed from 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 son to father to, to rapper. To, and he got 800 million kids out here. And he just got another one that was confirmed. And, like, what? the appeal y'all tell me please tell me what's the appeal with it like I could okay I could see if it was like an average girl groupie girl in the hood girl trying to make it whatever okay you see the check you see that he's a rap star you know what I'm saying you see the clout you see the bag that's what you're going for even if it ain't nothing for a little notoriety I understand it but my thing is like a woman like Lori Harvey honey you ain't hurting for money you got long, well, your stepdaddy got long money, you know what I'm saying? And I'm sure he's providing and you ain't really wanting for nothing. I don't know exactly what it is that you do besides pass around, but you ain't hurting for money. So like, what would be the appeal of you wanting to be with the man who has like 800 kids? Well, I know he's got eight to 10. I don't lost count at this point, but eight to 10 kids and they all by different women. Like, what is the appeal? Like, what... This generation so lost, y'all. This generation morals are so messed up, y'all. Like, is the clout chasing that bad? Like, I mean, hell, you already got a famous stepdaddy. Do you get you gotta have a famous boo too? And if can we get a better caliber of a famous boo? Boo. And for a man who wrote Think Like a Woman or Act What was it? Act like a lady, think like a man, and you sitting up here condoning this shit. Yo, your, your damn stepdaughter who you, I guess, raised or half-ass raised or whatever it was. And I'm here running around with a man with 1,800 baby mamas and all this damn court drama going on. And he denied paternity for one and he ain't paying child support for the other. And he only acknowledged three of them. And like, what the? <clears throat> but that's who you want your, your stepdaughter to hang around? I mean, 
I mean, her mama ain't much better. Marjorie ain't much better. But, I mean, at least she chose a halfway deal. Well, Steve ain't, Steve ain't future. I mean, he ain't that great neither. Because I heard he and Marjorie had thing going on, but he got divorced too, so he ain't all that great either. But damn, at least he ain't have 800 motherfucking damn kids running around here. Shit. Damn. I don't know. This is what this was. It make me scared for my daughter. Well, see, my daughter gonna have some morals. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> She ain't going for that, you know. I mean, I know I can't control everything she's doing. I know, you know, she's going to make some love mistakes and some, you know, she's going to choose some people. I'm probably going to wring her neck over and, and, and bring out the shotgun. I, I know that. But we going to do better than someone like Future. I know that, damn it. And, you know, I, I somebody please tell me what the pill is with that man. Please, besides the, the money and the clout. And like I said, I could see if you was a gutter bitch and you went for that. I get that part. I ain't, I ain't mad at that part, honey. Come up how you come up. You know what I'm saying? I can understand the appeal then. You know what I'm saying? But for someone who, like, come from long money and you already don't need the man for, like... Chad, we got to do better. We got to do better. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. but hey honey if, if if that's what it take to be shot on a song and you ain't belonging to the streets no more you you ain't on the streets now honey you don't made it to the song honey you don't made it to the song he don't actually shot at you out he claimed you girl mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh lord if that's the standard that it take to make up mm. if that's the standard these young ladies are going by now we are the one sorry lost ass generation Mm-mm-mm. that's all I gotta say about that anyway like I said I was gonna keep it short I think they're on their way back now I just want to like I said just throw some stuff out there for a little content as always suggestions things that I haven't talked about yet you know my world's a little small maybe y'all can give me something a topic that y'all want to hear me discuss I'm pretty opinionated about everything so drop your comments below and uh, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. I've seen, I went through my videos last night because I don't really go through them too much. Once I'm done with it, I'm just kind of done with it. But you know, I do check to see how it's going every once in a while. I mean, it doesn't consume me. It's like every few days. Sometimes I go a week or two and forget, hey, maybe you might need to check your views and check what's going on on YouTube. Um, and I've seen I got a couple likes on some videos. So thank you guys. It lets me know that somebody's watching. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, but like I said, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment below, and uh, let's talk.